With the latest version of Vocadine, the interface has changed a little bit, so I decided let's do the interface mastery video again. For the routing and the setup for your specific DAW, those videos still stand, so you can refer to those if you need help just getting started. Right now, I'm in Ableton Live, which is my favorite when it comes to Vocadine. I got an audio track, Vocadine as an insert effect, I got a MIDI track, and I'm gonna root my MIDI into Vocadine. Fun times, yeah. Let's start from the top with shape. This is the oscillator shape, simple as that. Let me just do a sweep so you can get the idea. Good for getting a slightly different sound. Next up is bend, and this is only available in poly mode, so we'll get back to that. This is the glide time. The amount of time it takes for it to glide from one note to another. So at the very bottom, we can do this. Yeah. And that's also a key new feature. We have the legato rebound finally. Yeah. Before, yeah, you used, used to, to have, have to, to do, do this, this. But, but now, now you can, can do this. So back to the glide. Short glide. Longer glide. Very long glide. External mode, I'm gonna do a different video for, but this is basically, if you don't wanna use the internal synth of this, you wanna use your own carrier. You can switch this on, hard pan an audio track with your voice, so it goes into the left input, hard pan your carrier, your synth sound, guitar, whatever you want, right. So it goes into the right input, and then it'll just ignore this part, the internal synth, and use whatever you plugged into it. It'll still go through the entire effects section, the black box magic going on over here under the hood, but you can experiment and get some interesting sounds using that. Next up is the poly button. Default is mono, it's monophonic. You can only play one note at a time. When you switch this on, you can play chords, play chords. Now, if you remember, the bend is active because the poly mode is on. This basically, it takes the glide time and the bend in semitone. So if I go from minus 24 semitones, it's gonna take one second to reach that. Play chords. And the glide time, or the portamento if you wanna call it that, can be changed with the glide knob. You can also go from a higher note 12 semitones up from whatever notes you're playing and down. Play chords. Fine tune is just for fine tuning the synth. C. Very useful if your other instruments are tuned a little bit differently. And this is the cutoff of the synth. Let's make this voice a little bit darker, a little more muffled. Muffle it up, muffle it up, muffle it up. We're gonna hop into the modifier section now. This section has to do mostly with the character of the sound. Most of these characters, they're pretty subtle and you can use this tone knob to dial in pretty much the wetness of it. It affects a certain part of the frequency spectrum, all tuned to the different characters. So experiment a little bit with the type of sound you want. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, 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 ow. You can go anywhere from a very soft and muffled physical talk box type sound to a little bit more vibrating, resonant metallic sound. I like it. I like it. Format you can use to make your voice sound darker or lighter. So this can be very cool to experiment with. If you're doing a lot of harmonies and stuff, do some, a few different variations of these formants to make the mix blend in together and just change it slightly. You can also automate it over time or just make a badass sound overall. The tube drive. You'll probably be like, what's going on here? There's almost nothing happening. This is a very subtle tube saturation. So there's a physical model of a plastic tube and this is the saturation of the signal of the synth before it goes into the virtual tube, so to speak. And if you max it out, it will have a subtle difference on 
uh, what it sounds like after it goes through the saturation. So these two in combination have more effect. Distorted sound. This formant lock is pretty interesting. You can actually play, play something, something and then go on. See, now I grab that sound and I can keep playing it. The chorus is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain it clearly anyway. You have two different types of choruses. You can activate them one by one, or you can activate both of them at the same time. This is very similar to a Juno style chorus, uh, except that on the Juno, having them both activated won't actually uh, keep it in stereo. This will give it more of a phaser effect. So the only difference is that when you have them both activated, you get a little bit of a different sound. This is one chorus, this is the other chorus, and these are both of them combined. And this is the chorus amount, of course. The chorus, same thing here, is very useful. I like to activate both of them and just nudge it up a little bit to make it more of a cohesive sound and more of a realistic sounding physical talk box emulation type sound. And it's also very cool when you're playing it like a vocoder in poly mode. And if you're doing multiple harmonies, again, vary them a little bit by having different chorus settings on them. Some slight, some more dramatic. Next, let's check out the automatic mode. If you had the old version of this, you probably notice now that there's a little button in the middle that is actually a more accurate pitch detection or a combination of techniques. I decided to make it an option because you can see that when the auto mode is on, if you check out the CPU level, it does cause a significant spike because there's more processing going on. That's optional depending on what system you have. You can turn that on if you want more accurate pitch detection. Mainly, we're talking about these nasty octave skips and stuff. So it depends on what you're going for also. New in the keys menu, you can't only set up the scale manually now. You can still do that, but there's also scale presets. So let's say I'm playing a song in F. Romani. I can set the scale preset up like that, and now I have it automatically on. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I still recommend you play it with a keyboard or with some type of MIDI input because there's just a lot more control over it. I spent a lot of time on this pitch detection stuff, but it's still not near the official auto-tune stuff, for example, by Antares, Ant Antares, whatever. They spent like 30 years developing their shit. It's more of a bonus feature, but you can have a lot of fun with it. Next, uh, we'll check out the pre presets last, actually. I've added this mod slider, and this is the speed of the mod wheel, the pitch modulation on the mod wheel. So let's start all the way down. Mod wheel. Very slow. And we can go up to... This is the default mod wheel or very fast mod wheel or somewhere in between mod wheel so that should be able to customize it for your specific hit at the moment you know what i'm saying i also added from a transformers request from a dude a noise generator, generator. so you can get more of a breathy sound you can get a breathy sound like this this will give your girlfriend nightmares. RB is resonance boost. This will go from this a little bit more of a mellow sound to cutting through the mix. Uh, depending on the track, you might want to turn that on. I usually don't. The gate, this is the threshold of the gate. So you'll, you'll notice, notice if, if I, I turn, turn this up and I keep, keep talking talk. that eventually it's not going to detect the voice anymore, anymore because, because this, this is, is the gate, gate threshold. threshold. This, this can, can be useful to... to Eliminate some background noise. It's a very rudimentary gate. It's just on or off. This is the volume of the consonants. You can hear the consonants coming through. And right now they are much louder than if I turn them down to somewhere around here. A little bit more sensible. And this is the sensitivity. If I turn this all the way up, pretty much all the sound is coming through. Uh, if you're noticing that, if you're noting that some of the consonants are not coming through, you can experiment with this knob a little bit. The leak knob was originally to make it a little bit more realistic too, that you can hear some of the synth leaking through in the background, but it's pretty much the synth volume, the processed synth. That you can, you can hear it just a little bit. 
or turn it up so you can use it. You can use that to your advantage or just to preview the synth a little bit better. For example, if you're not getting any sound, this could be good for troubleshooting. You can be like, hey, why, is not, why, why isn't the robot sound coming through? You can turn this up and play it, and you can at least make sure that Vocodyne is not the error, then it's probably a rooting issue or something like that. The mix knob, the last knob, is how much of the original signal you're letting through. So right now, I can hear me. Now I can hear more and more of Vocodyne. So I could blend the two of them. And if you're a singer and you want to do some Imogen Heap type shit, then you can use that. And this little button next to it is if you want to process your voice through the internal effects. And this will be pretty much this part. So the chorus and the saturation. If you want to pull the original voice through that section too. All right, and that's about it. The last part we have is the new preset section. I originally thought this is such a simple setup that you don't really need any presets, but I added some more functions and uh, I realized it might be useful. So we got some presets in, in this menu so you can just explore it and have fun. The presets that don't say anything. The presets that don't say anything, they are monophonic presets. Then you have some polyphonic presets combo presets which are what i just showed you it's a mixture of letting your own voice come through uh and speech my name's bobby i like cheetos that's right man let's we smoke something together yeah you get the idea enjoy <laughs>